Okay, let's get started. It's, uh, what is it? It's April 22nd. Um, last night was an interesting night. Uh, winds came up. I was napping. Uh, didn't catch it. But um, in this video, I want to report an issue that I ran into last night and what I'm going to do to fix it. Um, I had been noticing some peculiarities with my ZWO EAF uh, focusing. Uh, the runs didn't look like they used to look like. And um, I didn't, you know, I was just unsure if I was focused or not. But when I would go into the image uh, as, after it was taken and I would do, use auto detect, the star shapes look pretty good and those type of things. But um, I went to bed around 12 o'clock and uh, after the meridian flip, I was shooting M51. And then uh, the wind kind of woke me up because the van started shaking. And when I got up, this is kind of what I saw on the screen. Now, I don't think this is so much due to uh, the wind. I started to do some research. I went into the ZWO forum and um, I saw some mention of uh, someone having an issue and then uh, the person uh, reports the folks at CWO Tech suggest I update the firmware of my EAF to the latest 3.3.7. So I was not aware that there had been an update available. And also, um, I think he says uh, further, uh, to solve an issue I'm having whereby autofocus completes its calculation, but I'm getting donut holes for stars. So um, I would say that's donut holes for stars. So anyway, um, I went in and I found Simon had a, uh, a video on how to update your ZWO EAF the right way, uh, follow our tips, uh, top tips for a stress-free update. And this uh, video has been out for about uh, four months. So uh, you may have seen the video, the Astro Chat that we did with Simon Lewis, who is part of the ZWO uh, tech support team. So uh, Simon put this uh, video together. I, I watched it. It's uh, based on the Mac, but it, it's very easy. His instructions are uh, pretty straightforward. So that led me to the uh, ZWO page. And uh, you can see here that there's EAF firmware upgrade tool uh, V.3.3.7 and the date of it, the release is 2023-04-12. So basically I uh, downloaded it. Uh, very easy to do. Um, oh, uh, and, and let me just show you, uh, for my other filters, uh, last night, I didn't have that issue. Um, here the stars look reasonably tight. Uh, but after the green filter run completed and I went on to the, uh, blue final filter of the night, uh, that's when I started to get that. So I was not awake to observe the, uh, the autofocus run. So this is uh, this is kind of recent, and this is the issue that uh, I'm addressing. So anyway, uh, uh, I downloaded it uh, into my download file, and then I expanded it, and then I moved it over to a file uh, EAF update kit. Uh, in the kit, <clears throat> there is a README file. Um, and then there's also the PDF document, and this is basically the procedure that you will, uh, use to update it. Now, uh, in one of these documents, it says if you're not noticing issues with your EAF, your ZWO EAF, uh, then they don't recommend updating it. So what I'm going to do is when it gets dark, um, I am going to take my laptop out there with the uh, with the files. Um, 
here is the actual firmware, the .hex file. And then I will go ahead and I have a long uh, USB uh, A to the USB uh, C cable, I think, that goes into the EAF. I don't have to dismount or anything. It's a long cable. I'll be able to set my laptop down on my desk and the cable's long enough. And then I will go ahead and I will uh, uh, do the, up, uh, the update. And then uh, the winds may be up tonight. So I may not get a good chance to uh, run tonight, but at least I can get the update done. Uh, looks pretty painless, pretty straightforward. And uh, so that's uh, kind of that. Um, again, you can find it in the ZWO Download Center. Um, and it's this firmware update here. Now, I thought I had a pretty good night last night until the winds came up. And then, uh, of course, at the end there, where it appears that the focus run for the blue filter, uh, something went wrong uh, to produce those uh, donuts. And uh, I guess, in a way, if we can expand that, we can see how good my collimation is. This, this donut hole is supposed to be a little bit more to the center. And so that's one of the challenges with... Uh, uh, a reflector, at least with my Edge HD8, um, you have to be mindful of uh, how, you, what, how your collimation looks. So uh, for most of the night, my stars look pretty round. Um, so, you know, I'm getting there. It's a slow process. Uh, but the other thing I wanted to bring up is I have, uh, I've got two laptops. I've got an old lab, uh, correction, an old Samsung tablet, and I have a new Samsung tablet. This new one is running Android 12. Uh, this uh, old tablet is running 8.1 something. And so I ran into an issue the night before last uh, when I can, tried to connect to the ASI Air Plus. It would connect, but it lagged moving between like auto run and preview um and uh, then eventually it just froze and then i couldn't connect um i shut everything down turned it back up uh the item uh persisted so i brought my old uh, version uh android uh, 8.1 uh, Samsung laptop out and it connects just fine. So uh, I'm not really sure what the issue is. I'm going to uh, run that down. I don't know if it happens to be with my Samsung Tab 8 that's running Android 12. Not clear yet what the issue is, but since I had the second tablet with me, I was able to just go ahead and move forward with my night. And I've got one more old uh, Samsung tablet, or actually two more old Samsung tablets that are running like eight dot something. So uh, I can use those uh, if need be until I get everything figured out. Uh, worst case, I could connect probably with my phone on my Pixel 6, but man, my eyes are uh, old and uh, seeing things on that uh, small uh, Pixel uh, 6 screen is a bit challenging. All right, so I just wanted to give this heads up that there is, if you're not aware, an EAF, CWO EAF update available. If you're noticing any peculiarities with your autofocusing, uh, you may want to uh, check out if possibly this firmware update is the right thing for you to apply to your EAF. Um, other than that, you know, might, uh, might be a, a windy night tonight. I'm uh, going to stay here and see how the winds are. I'm going to move, I think, maybe onto the uh, Needle Galaxy if the winds are uh, cooperating. And then uh, looks like uh, Sunday night might be winds. Monday night might be winds. I was prepared to stay through Wednesday of next week. Um, but if the forecast is going to be winds, then I'm probably going to pack up on Sunday and, uh, and head home. So uh, we'll see. But uh, this trip has been great for me because, uh, one, I haven't been out in a while. So it's good to get out of the house, get to uh, a dark site. Uh, two, uh, I, I got to hang out with uh, many of the club members that I already knew here and kind of chit-chat at night. 
And the advantage of chit-chatting at night when it's dark is you get to look up. You can't really see the person you're chit-chatting with because it's so dark. So you kind of, while you're talking, look up at the beautiful sky and see all those stars that I just don't see from my Bortle 8-9 uh, skies up in San Mateo, California. So it's uh, just a, a great experience if you uh, not uh, participated with a club and gone to star parties. Uh, it's something you might want to consider doing in the future. All right. Well, wherever you may be in the world, I hope things are weather-wise are working out for you. And uh, if you are imaging something, why don't you take a moment and jot that down in a comment to let others know what uh, what is happening. And I want to point out on Astro Vagabond and Friends, Simon Thompson, who uh, images from down under, uh, posted two beautiful images, one of the Dolphin Nebula. Uh, that alone is worth joining Astro Vagabond uh, and Friends uh, just to see his images. He does some fantastic work. All right. I think I've gone on too long. Just want to give you a heads up on the available update. And uh, other than that, uh, oh, I am going to do that video on taking flats with my tracing panel using a neutral density gel. Uh, I used it last night. I tell you, the ASI Air Plus is beautiful when it comes to doing auto exposures and setting with that flat panel. I set it on its lowest uh, setting and the ASI Air just adjusts uh, the exposure time to the right point uh, for your flats. It's uh, really, a, uh, I'm just amazed at how good the ASI Air uh, Plus is and what the experience has been, has been really good. Notwithstanding uh, the issue I have with the uh, Android uh, 12, you know, probably an Android problem, not a uh, ASI Air problem. Uh, so if you're new to this hobby, I'd strongly suggest you look at the possibility of going the ASI Air route. I don't think you give up that much at the end of the day. You are kind of locked into all ZWO products for the most part, other than you can use, a, use it with a, the DSLR of your choice. Uh, it's kind of agnostic there. So, okay. If you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up. The likes really help determine who sees the videos and the more people that see the videos, it helps me out a little bit. And uh, be sure and check out the links in the video description for both Amazon and OPT. Those are affiliate marketing links. If you use any of those links, um, and in particular, if you use the Amazon link to go to Amazon, and even if you don't purchase the product that's uh, the link is set up for, but you purchase something else, I get some affiliate marketing credit, and that all, always is appreciated. Okay, uh, clear skies. See you next time.